Hi everyone, this is Simko Waitovich here from Firefly Sci. Today I'm really excited. Um, I have a prototype of a large light path cell washer here that was made by um, David Bradshaw of Red Snapper Glass. Um, he's a wizard with making things out of borosilicate. Check out his Instagram page. I'm going to link to it um, below. And yeah, so he made us this, pro um, you know, we worked together to make this prototype cell washer and Again, we designed this for large light path cuvettes. Uh, you can see some of the differences here is that we have this huge base now. In the other design, um, in the current design I should say, we have a small little cup here, but we enlarged this base and made it much larger, much bigger. And um, essentially, not only do we want this to wash large cuvettes, but we also like to wash our smaller light path cuvettes as well. Our goal, of course, is to wash those tiny one millimeter light path cuvettes. And what we did to uh, accommodate that is we put a smaller tubulation here in the middle. I'm not sure if you could see that, but right here, this tube is actually smaller diameter than we, what we're currently using. So um, this, again, is a prototype. It's the first one that we've uh, designed. And we're going to let you in on a little bit behind the scenes here. I want to show you guys how we develop products from start to finish. And again, this is just the first run of this. And I'm going to be testing it today. And that's why I'm showing it to you to see, does it work? Um, how well does it work? Where can we make changes? Where can we make improvements? And yeah, so I'm going to get it hooked up, set up, and let's see how it goes. Alrighty, so here we are. Uh, the first thing I want to do is set up the new cuvette washer here. Um, and I brought out an old one as well so we can compare the two. And again, we're essentially making, this is the one that currently washes 10 millimeter cuvettes. And this is the one where the experimental prototype for the larger light path cuvettes. So anyway, let's put that off to the side. Uh, so I have a 50 millimeter cuvette, which is going to be our test our test cuvette for this experiment. Um, I didn't look for a gasket for this yet, but what I did is I, I was at Home Depot this morning and I picked up some uh, this big sheet of rubber here. So I'm just going to cut this into a nice round shape that's going to fit right on the top of this here. And we're going to use that to go with uh, the rubber. Uh, the stopper for the other one looks like this. It's a small little disc here. And again, everyone's seeing that, you know, just sits right on top. Oh, there we go. Sits right on top just like that. Okay, fine. I have some distilled water here. The tubing for the pump. And the vacuum flask is hanging out over there. All right, good. So let's go ahead and start with making our gasket. Alright, so the question is, how am I going to pull this off now? I want to be able to make a hole in this. So let's see. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is poke a hole here. Somewhere in this region. And hope that this will be able to let me trace out the design here. Okay, cool. Nice. Get out of the way, rubber. Okay, now that I got a little bit of the rubber, now that I have a little bit of the rubber removed, I'm just going to pop this through this little hole I made here. Trying oh so carefully not to snap off this very delicate tube. All right, nice. Got it. All right, so I'm just going to flip this over, trace this, cut this, and then we will be in business with my marker.
Again, I'm not looking to make this into a masterpiece, just something that will work. There we go. Okay, fine. Boom. All right, it's not great, but you know what? It'll do. Where did I put that cap for that? There we go. Always helps to keep your tools in some kind of order so you can find them when you need them. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut out this circle. Yes, I am wasting some of this material, but you know what? There's nothing I can do about it right now. stuff it reminds me of when I was a kid I always got to cut on the line right I mean doing a really crappy job right now doing this but you know, it's just for demo and whatever all right there we go all right that doesn't look like total garbage this will do uh, you know what, I do want to make this hole in the middle bigger, so I'm going to just do a little bit more cutting, cutting work on that. Let's make it a tiny bit bigger, because this is where our solution is going to be draining through. So let's see if we can just get it a little bit bigger without making it too big. Pop that out, boom. All right, let's see if that's good enough. All right. So there's that. Uh, let's put on the stopper here. Number seven stopper. Again, just you know, put a little bit of water on the tube. Bottom of the tube here. And it pops right on. I'm bring it into the frame so you can see what I'm doing. It'd be helpful. Alright, just gonna clean up this area real quick. Don't mind me. Alright, nice. Alright, so there it is. It looks looks pretty good. I'm gonna hook up the tubing now. Just to hook it up, all you do is press it onto those connectors there on the end, and that's it. for us. Uh, okay. Let me just see which one I need to do for the vacuum line. Okay, it's this one. Tube on the left is for the vacuum. Maybe this is tight. Okay. Alrighty, so here it is. Let's let's try this bad boy out and see how it goes. I probably should use gloves, shouldn't I, for this? Let me get these gloves on here. So this, whoa, baby. All right, so that's one thing we're gonna have to talk about is that tube. But will it work? Let's put in some water here and find out. Now that's interesting. I'm just 
just going to turn this out so we can actually see if it's going to work and if uh, the water is going to blast up in there. Is that a good angle? Yeah, that's nice. That'll do. Alrighty, I'm going to plug in the pump. <laughs> And we have, oh wait, oh man, there's nothing going on here. And what is the problem with this bad boy here? Because I'm not getting any water pressure right now. So there's a number of different things that I'm thinking could be un unfold here. Is it the gasket? Is it this... I'm going to make a tight enough seal here. Is it the tubulation is too small in the middle? something else. No, that's not going to work. That does change the sound of it, interestingly enough. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. It wants to work, but it's not working. I'm seriously thinking about working. Now, I'm not sure if this piece of rubber is the problem. You know what? I'm going to try to wet this, wet this disc, and see if this is going to, if that's going to help us at all to make a tighter seal here. All right, back on. I got nothing coming out. So I'm trying to figure out where is the sticking point here. Still nothing. I'm trying to put some pressure here. We're going to take a step back. We're going to throw this gasket in there and we're going to try watching a 10 millimeter cuvette. I have one of those right here and seeing if we could get some pressure with that. I'm just going to readjust the camera. We'll be right back. And we're back. Here we are. And I have a 10 millimeter cuvette. Putting in and... Mm. That is just not, ah, uh, it's kind of working now. Now where, where's the problem with this? So this, let's try putting some more sample in a clean solution. All right, 10 millimeter is working. That's sweet. That's awesome. Which makes me feel, oh, it's got a really good suction on it too. Now the question becomes, why is the large light pass cells not working? Put on my big disc there. The only thing I think of is that this rubber is not making a tight enough seal. In which case I have to get a new, a new gasket here. Yeah, it's, again there. A little bit. But not quite. Not quite good enough. I'm wondering 
like this type of rubber. It like really wants to work, but it doesn't work. I'm gonna try wetting the edges of the cuvette a little bit. Let's see if that's gonna give us, if that's gonna help us out a little bit here. Solution. Nothing. We got nothing going on right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're getting some washing going on here. Let's see. Alright, so it works. It's not perfect, and I'm thinking it has to do with this rubber gasket that I have here. I am going to look into getting a, a different type of rubber for this. Because I think that's the sticking point here is the gasket, because um, it takes some tweaking to get this to sit right and to actually work. But for the 10 millimeter one, it works great. So, I am going to go ahead and, and order a different rubber for this, a softer rubber. This one seems to be too hard and doesn't have enough give to it. And we'll, we'll record that next uh, step in the, pro in the process and uh, keep you guys updated as we move along with this project. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, to, uh, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time.